Hi, and welcome to my next video. I'm here at a truck stop. I'm headed to Front, Front Royal, Virginia and Shenandoah National Park. I'm getting a late start today. It's, it's already about three, maybe a little after, so I don't know how much exploration I will get or how much I will be able to get, do in the park. Um, I may find some things to explore before I get to the park. Anyway, what I do know is I'm headed to Front Royal, Virginia, and I am headed towards Shenandoah. How much exploration, I don't yet know. Um, I spent most of the morning um, trying to get all the videos off of my phone. I have a lot of videos. Um, of course, I didn't get them all um, off my phone. I have about 60 videos um, for YouTube alone. So I didn't get um, all of, I only got maybe, a, a, I've only got maybe three or four. Anyway, um, my phone just dropped on the battery and I want to hit the road, hit the interstate anyway. So I'm going to stop this video for now and be back with you guys a little bit later. Okay guys, I am trying to find Shenandoah National Park. I'm here in Front Royal. Um, it is... I, I got off the interstate. Well, wouldn't you know it? I can't find it. This I get to a turn. It doesn't tell me where to go left, right. Okay, so I'm here at this red light. I'm going into a Target on one side and a Walmart on the other. Anyway, I'm going to turn around, make my way back toward um, uh, back toward the way I came. Probably pull into. A, I, I saw several gas stations. I'm going to. Um, pull into one of the gas stations and see if someone there can help me and tell me where I need to go because the signs aren't very clear. I don't know if I'm supposed to go through downtown or what I'm supposed to do because it, it's, it just doesn't say. I tried to map it and it says 60 miles. 60 miles of Skyline Drive. I know that's not accurate because uh, I mean it, it. the Skyline Drive is right here out of Front Royal. Okay guys, I stopped here at a, a Dollar Tree. I just need to take a little break, uh, try to calm myself, calm my nerves because I'm getting very nerve-wracked at this point, very frustrated. I cannot find the entrance to the Shenandoah National Park. I tried to map it. It tells me to go 60 miles. Very frustrating. Very frustrating and even more frustrating when the signs are not clear. There are no signs. I get to like a fork in the road. I don't know whether to go left. I don't know whether to go right. I go left because I don't know. It says visitor center. I drive and drive. I don't see a visitor center. I finally pulled in, found some schools, had to turn around. Just very frustrating. Anyway, I'm here at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to walk in. Maybe someone can give me some directions and tell me how to get there. Okay, I finally got the GPS to map to the National Park, Shenandoah National Park. Um, it, it took a, a, oh my gosh, I was there at the Dollar Tree, and then I, I mapped something, I tried to map it, I think that didn't work, I ended up driving down the way a little bit, had to turn around, oh, round and round, round and round we go. Anyway, I finally got it to map. I'm now at the Skyline, uh, pulled in here at Skyline Caverns, and now I'm headed back up to the turn. Finally, when GPS did work, it got me to where I, it's now got me where I need to be. I just, I'm going to take a right out of here, and I'm there at the Skyline Drive. I cannot believe it was that difficult to find. Um, I finally saw the sign in downtown, a very tiny little sign to, uh, after it mapped, after GPS started working, um, I finally saw the, a little tiny sign in down, through downtown. Um, I find this very, very frustrating. It, it causes a lot of anxiety, uh, a lot of frustration, and then anger. I, anyway, that's, a, that's another, um, that's another video for another day. Okay, I am finally at the Shenandoah National Park entrance. Okay, it is 109 miles back to where I started last night. Okay, I start right here and I'll be southbound on Skyline Drive. Um, I'm going to go up here in just a minute. There's a walking trail here. And I'm going to go here in just a minute. And 
pay my $30 and get in. That's what I was, I, I came so late last night that I was not able to, um, I wasn't able to get a pass because they were closed. And you saw the earlier video from last night. It was about um, eight, uh, probably about eight o'clock when I came in because I went. I finished out some of. I did a. I did a bit on the Blue Ridge Parkway. Now I still have about a hundred miles on the Blue Ridge Parkway that I want to do from Afton to Roanoke. But I decided to come up here and. Um, do the um, Shenandoah National Park um, anyway and then last night I wasn't overly tired probably from drinking so much uh, I don't want to say coffee uh, coke because I had like two big things of coffee yesterday I mean not coffee coke from when I stopped at McDonald's I went back in and I asked the guy for uh, you know, a refill. He said technically he couldn't give me one, but he gave me another, uh, another, uh, another, you know, he gave me another bottle and, or sometimes my mind just goes blank and I'm like, another cup, sorry, another cup with some Coke in it. Anyway, I drank, I didn't even drink that much of it, but it kept me up. When I finally stopped, I didn't even watch any TV. I didn't listen to any podcasts. I didn't really do anything. I just scarfed down some crackers and some applesauce. And that tin, that kind of, this morning, it kind of upset my stomach just a little bit. Didn't really fill me up. Anyway, so I decided to walk down this little uh, walking path here. And I'm going to walk just a bit further. And then I'm going to turn around, go back, get in my car, go back up to the entrance and pay my fee. So, and the fee, the $30 fee gives you $7, I mean, not $7, seven days, or you can do an America the Beautiful Pass, which is $80, and that gives you every national, free, every national park in the U.S. Um, I, I used to have a pass, it's been a few years, I didn't find them that useful in, on the, in the south or the southeast. I find the, the America the Beautiful passes, the annual pass is $80 and I find it um, far more um, advantageous to get that pass if you're out west. Like, in, like I, when I went to Texas, Big Bend National Park, Death Valley National Park in California, Zion National Park in Utah, um, a few different places. Um, like that, uh, I found them quite a bit uh, more. Uh, I found it. I found the annual, the America the Beautiful, eighty dollar pass much more uh, useful. If you are over age sixty two, you can get the pass. I think for just twenty dollars. I'm not there yet, so it'll either be eighty dollars or thirty dollars for a seven day pass. Okay, I'm at my first overlook on the Shannon and the Shenandoah National Park. It's gorgeous. It's about 5:30. I got my pass. I decided on just a $30 seven-day pass for this park only because I, I I briefly looked it up before I went in went to the station the check-in station and. There's just, there's just, they don't have the parks on the East Coast that they do on the West Coast that make the America the Beautiful Pass uh, really worth the money. Anyway, uh, today is, unfortunately, unfortunately, today is counted because I went through today. I wish, I uh, probably should have waited till tomorrow, but anyway, 100 miles, 109 miles back to Waynesboro where I started last night. This is kind of where I wanted to be, so I wouldn't be... doesn't matter. I could have still driven the hour and a half down the interstate. But anyway, I don't really want to be rambling too much. Anyway, beautiful, beautiful area. This probably overlooks Front Royal. I'm actually glad I started up here at Front Royal because it's a very crowded town. It just... it's busy. It's crowded. It's just... I, I wasn't that... 
I, I mean, maybe on a different day I would like it, but not this day. So, and go down to the other side, which is down closer to Staunton, it is not bad. I like that area a little better. And then I can um, hit the Blue Ridge Parkway, um, do the 100 miles back to Roanoke, and then hit Highway 11 um, if I have time. Okay, I'm at my second overlook. There's a sign back there that says there are four overlooks within four miles, I believe. If I move down further, the sun's going to be right in my eyes. Okay, I am at the signal knob overlook. And my third overlook. Okay, this is a much uh, better vantage point. Okay, I am at another overlook. And for the life of me, I can't remember what the name of the overlook is. Okay, here's the other side of the overlook. It is cool up here. It's 6 o'clock and it's already starting to get cool. It wasn't even really that um, hot earlier. It was very nice. It wasn't hot, really that hot at all. Virginia's actually really, really nice in the summer. For me, I know some people like it probably cooler than this, but me, I'm... I'm okay with it being just, you know, 80 for a daytime high. I can go up to even 88 or 90 and I'm not too hot. It's when it gets um, hotter than that, then I, I have a little bit of an issue. I think the weather's supposed to drop down into the 50s one, I don't know, two or three nights. Okay, I'm at the Goonie Manor Overlook. Okay, I'm at the Indian Run Overlook. This is probably about my fifth or sixth overlook. Um, there's a few overlooks that I passed. They didn't have this kind of vantage point. They were completely wooded. They had some trails, though. Quite a few people in them. Which, of course, wouldn't you know when I'm starting to have to need a potty break. sure I'll find a visitor center soon. I hope I find it soon. And I didn't drink any caffeine or drink anything today to speak of. A little bit of lemonade. That's about it. So. I won't be like having to go. I won't be having to go like a lot. Okay. 
Okay, here's a slightly different vantage point. It's, it's very sunny still, so the sun's kind of still in my eyes. At least on the opposite side. I'm uh, the other side. I'm on the opposite side now. Okay, I'm at another overlook. And I'm definitely needing a bathroom break now, so the next couple of um, overlooks I'll probably have to ski up. Oops, don't want that in there. Okay, I'm down here to this little vantage point. Okay, I'm yet at another overlook. Sun's in my eyes, kind of. I have not found that a place to stop and go to the bathroom yet. No place with a walking trail where I can kind of get a little privacy, nothing. Not yet, like I said before. But I pulled into this overlook because there was a car right behind me and I'm sure he wanted to maybe move a little, drive a little faster than me. So I pulled into this overlook for that reason so he, I could let him pass. Again, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It's after six o'clock. Beautiful, just beautiful, beautiful. Some of the views that I saw on the Blue Ridge Parkway and up here, this is basically an extension of the Blue Ridge Parkway. It's just called something different. It's called the Shenandoah National Park, but absolutely breathtaking. Oh, now it's in the sunlight. It's in the sunlight. Okay, I'm at uh, Gimlet Ridge Overlook. I did bypass one overlook. There was a few people at it, and I just decided um, to skip it. I, I really need to try to find a bathroom, but I don't have a lot of time left. It's getting close to 7. I got here late. So anyway, um, so I thought I'd stop here, do a little bit of video, and up the road I'll go. Hopefully I'll find a restroom. I know I hate to keep talking about that, but, you know. It is also getting pretty cool out here. It's actually kind of cold to me. Yet another overlook. Starting to get a little cold out here. Okay guys, I finally found a place to stop for a potty break since there were no bathrooms, no visitor centers, no porto potties here at the Kaiser Run Fire Road Trailhead. I did not actually um, know, when, when I ran down this road, I didn't know if it was a, a hiking trail or not. I just knew that, um, you know, I needed to use the bathroom. And of course, it's blocked off so that only authorized vehicles can come in here. And But obviously, you can hike. That would explain why there's so many parking spaces back up there in the, um, in the parking lot. I uh, passed a couple like this, but I, I one of them, I overshot it. There was nobody in there. I could see that there was no cars parked, but I simply overshot it couldn't um couldn't make it so and there was no place to turn around really so I said you know what what the heck I'm just gonna keep going hopefully there will be some place with a hiking trail or something because when I was on the Blue Ridge Parkway I had to stop a couple of times I needed to use the bathroom really bad and um, a couple of the overlooks had uh, walking trails now here it kind of looks like the overlooks, they're mostly overlooks, and that's it. And then there's a few of these little, um, uh, maybe a few of these little roads like this that have, um, that are like this one, like the this fire road that's actually a walking trail. It does pin you around with nobody, on, you know, with nobody here really. So, and that was the ideal. Nobody here. 
Okay, I'm standing in the parking lot right now. As you can see, you can see the sun shining down onto the trees in the background. Uh, beautiful. Okay, I'm at Little Hogback Overlook. And as you know, I found a place to stop. I'm sure you know that by the last video. Let's zoom in. This is Little Devil Stairs Overlook. You can see the sun shining down in there in the valley. This is Hogback Overlook, and the wind's starting to blow, and it is getting kind of cold out here. I don't have a lot of time left, just trying to soak up as much as I can. Zoom you guys in, as you can see, yeah, that's really pretty. Now this one's got a little bit better vantage point looking straight down. See, there's some rocks all the way down there. Okay. okay, this is Rattlesnake Point. A little cool out here and as I said before uh, it's the end of the day and I am just trying to soak up whatever I can until it gets dark and I have to get off of this little uh, whatever you want to call it, parkway Shenandoah Parkway whatever and there right now there's well one person just pulled in but there's not really anyone out here so that's um that's nice. Hello. Hi. Would you mind taking a picture of us? No, I don't mind. Thank you so much. Honey. When you're done, take your time. Thank you. Hi, it hasn't been too long since I left the Shenandoah National Park. Uh lucky me, I left. I drove nine miles to Luray, Virginia, and I found uh, 24 hour Liberty, it's like, it's like a Liberty gas 7-Eleven. Um, I called to make sure they are 24 hours and I decided, I'm very tired, I'm very, very tired. So I decided that instead of driving like 25 miles, 30 miles, whatever, another 30 miles to get to a stop that I'm just going to stop here at the Liberty, um, I, when I pulled in, well, I went over to one side of the gas station, and it's kind of busy, it's kind of crowded, you know, it's kind of crowded, a lot of, uh, not a lot of parking spaces, uh, you know, pretty tight, pretty tight, because there's a lot of cars in there, but on the opposite side of, of the gas station, where the diesel pumps are, has quite a bit of parking, and anyway, so I, I pulled out of my space and I pulled over. I decided, okay, I will park right on, under this light. There's like a wash there, a car wash or something. Anyway, it's like the diesel and the car wash. Anyway, anyway, I'm very tired. So I pull over, I park, 
and I realized, wait a second, I knew Walmart was like really close, but I I realized that wa the Walmart parking lot is basically connected to the Liberty gas station. So I said, you know what? Okay. So I, I anyway, I come over here. I'm in Walmart right in Walmart parking lot right now. I come over here to Walmart and I get myself another bag, a couple bags of potato chips, another uh thing of the the peanut butter crackers cheese peanut butter crackers i like and got myself a cup of yogurt um anyway i i i, I decided to make myself an almond butter and jelly sandwich i made that before i left the 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 panorama um anyway so the best part about all this though is that i'm only nine miles from the entrance the to the thornton gap entrance to shenandoah that's great that's like a like a 10 minute drive so perfect T today wasn't bad um it w i got started really late though trying to get a lot of um excuse me trying to get a lot of videos uploaded um i uploaded another excuse me i uploaded another video Actually, I uploaded, I think, two videos or maybe three this morning to um, YouTube. I downloaded one last night. I, anyway, I, so I was up a little late last night. But anyways, this morning was busy, busy, busy. I was just busy trying to get some of the videos that I've already uploaded off my phone, trying to upload some more so I'll have more room because I don't, I mean, I'm running out of room on my phone. Anyway, that reminds me, I need to um, add another um, video to YouTube tonight. I was going to add one more. The little ones don't take that, the like 20 minute ones, they don't take that long to, to, to upload. Anyway, I'm very tired and I'm just going to, um, in this video, um, I need to pull this video together. Uh, this was like, anyway... I started out, I, as you know, uh, headed to Front Royal, had a really hard time finding the entrance to Shenandoah, finally found it, didn't have all that much time, but I had a little bit of time, it wasn't bad, it was pretty good. I, as you saw in my videos, I eked out as much, as much as I could, the very last photos, the very last video, very last sunset, very last of everything. Anyway, so that said... Uh, now, I don't know how the, you know, I don't know how the 7-Eleven bathrooms, all that are, but as long as I got a stall and, you know, I can brush my teeth, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Anyway, um, I'm going to end this video now. I am very, very tired. Um, I'm in the Walmart parking lot. I'm headed back over to the Liberty uh, parking lot, and as I said, on the side, there's quite a bit of parking on the side, so I have plenty of room. Uh, anyway, um, I'm tired. I need to, I'm going over to the parking lot. I need to, I'm going to pull my videos together. I need to eat and I'll probably watch maybe a bit of TV and that's going to be it for tonight. So I hope everyone has a good week. God bless. Peace.